Hello everybody, Sucrose here. Back to play some Long Dark. Oh man, this game is so fun. It's so nice. It's so interesting. It's so scary. And I'm always... I'm always worried, honestly. I'm always scared that we're gonna we're gonna get that wolf that does us in. But um, hopefully that's not the case. <clears throat> now the last time we played, we managed quite a little trick. We went all the way out to the lighthouse area, um, whose name escapes me. And um, we actually hold on. Let me make sure I have some some wood. Um, we made some arrowheads. And uh, quite a few, actually. Um, <clears throat> today we need to turn those into bows. Uh, or at least soon. I mean, not bows. Uh, uh, arrows. What the hell was that? Oh my god, that's scary. Um, and once we have all those arrows, We'll go hunting, and uh, we'll start with a deer. We've we've done it before, but uh, now we're on our turf. We know what to expect. We've got a small amount of experience. Um, if if we come upon a wolf, we'll shoot a wolf. And I don't I don't really have a set plan. Maybe if. Um, I mean, we need food. That's pretty much. That's pretty much that. Um, if we do well with the hunting, um, maybe I'll try a bear with a gun. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm still scared. We don't really need to kill a bear, so may, maybe we will stay away from a bear. But um, oh, you know what? So. Um, we, we left for our trip. Um, I think we should replenish our stock of water. We do have some, um, but I think it makes sense since I've got this fire going. Um, let's, let's do no more than that. Anything else to cook? Is there any raw meat in here? Looks like no. So we've got this one piece of meat. We've obviously got to get ourselves uh, something to eat. So let's, we've cooked that. Um, let's pop this in and we'll do start with this much. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure how the timing works out. If the timing works out, we'll head down to the to the fishing pier or whatever it's called, the fishing huts. <laughs> and we'll um, get ready there to make some arrows. Um, the workbench is uh, the workbench is there. We could, of course, go to the garage, use that workbench, but um, it's too too many wolves. So it's the, the the fishing huts are really convenient. They're outside, so you can work all day if it's not too cold. Oh yeah, we're hungry. 
So, unless we want to dig into our stores, we might want to just go hunting now with the four arrows we have. Um, I hate to waste a fire. Sometimes you have to waste things, and I, I'm just not good at that. Carry much more. I, I have a serious sunk cost problem, and um, it serves me well sometimes, but it's not always the best strategy. Because sometimes you have to cut your losses. Still more. Oh, I thought that was it. I'm not sure we're going to boil this last bit. Perfect. Snow's. Uh, snow is coming, or has come. It's making it harder to see. That's certainly enough water for a uh, right good bit. Okay. Alright, let me check something. Hold on one second. Okay. Alright, looks good. Um, so... We, we certainly don't, I mean, we certainly have enough food. It's not like I'm worried about starving. I just like to keep a store. Um, which, which makes me think that I think if we, if we die, when we die in this game, we should play on something. We should play and, and not let ourselves go inside or something. That's some, something where it's harder to store, play, um, play that game. Um, yeah, I'll grab a, a condensed milk. All right, so before we head over to the, um, well, what should we do? Uh, we have, it looks like we broke that last arrow when we shot that last deer, I think it was. Um, so it's, it's hard to go hunting in a snowstorm. So what we'll do is we'll head over to the fishing huts, we'll make that our little home for a couple of nights, and we'll make... The, the, the arrows that we can <clears throat> and um, maples for making bows right I don't think we need any more bows just yet. let's let's double check that yeah um, so let's grab whatever we want birch. Oh, maple. Oh, I'll we'll drop that. Drop it over here. <clears throat> Alright, and then we've got plenty, I think, of already pre-cut arrow shafts. We'll grab those. Um, so that looks pretty good. We have a lot of painkillers, but not too heavy. Um, we're in our travel clothes, which I think is fine. Sounds like the wind is picking up. So let's grab a little bit more food. Essentially, um, 
we'll we'll eat until it's good hunting weather, and then we'll uh, we'll hunt, and, and we'll use that time maybe to make some food. So actually, okay, all right, second guessing myself uh, again, but it does not look like there's something up here. Um, because we're going to be standing outside. To craft. Let's get um, let's get the good stuff. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I always um, forget which panel is the right panel to look at things, but all right. So that's very warm. This. Uh, the thing to go for. Okay, that's better, of course, the rabbits. Now this is the outside, we've, as we've learned, so the deerskin pants go there. Uh, okay, that looks good. And the shoes. Super warm. So we're going to be able to, look, this is crazy, 50 degree um, warmth bonus. We're going to be able to stand out in very cold weather. Um, we're not going for any long treks, so we don't need to uh, be running around or anything like that. All right, so let's drop the old stuff, our light stuff. Wait, why why don't we have these? Did I not equip them? It's getting to the point where we need to repair them. All right, so that's uh, it's an extra ten pounds, I think, of clothes, which is quite a bit. But we're only going down the street. Okay, we need to keep an eye on those rabbit skin nets. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me. Ah, hold on. Okay. Um, I was just saying, let's go ahead and equip our bow. Um, I think we'll bring all this water. This is a lot of water. Actually, you know what? Let's bring this much and we'll drop some of it off. And that way we'll have it there um, in the future. All right, this seems pretty good. I think. Um, I think we're ready. Is there anything else we might want to craft? Could could make some more snares. I think that's probably a good idea. That'll give us um, some background food, and also some more <clears throat> rabbit skins and guts. Yeah, let's do that. No, oh, I didn't count. All right. <clears throat> uh, one gut and one reclaimed wood. One, two, three. <clears throat> Don't want to grab all of our guts, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take fewer than three. So. Um, we could get reclaimed wood down there. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's get the reclaimed wood down there. All right. <clears throat> I think we're uh, ready. Uh, probably overprepared, but we're ready. Well, we're warm. Ooh, a stick. Uh, we have good enough visibility. I think I see a wolf already. I wonder if the wind affects the bow. I'm 
Should we avoid him? Um, my thought is, I'll somewhat try to avoid him, but if he comes, we'll, uh, we're, we should be warm enough to go ahead and get the meat, and we'll bring it with us to, uh, to the cabins. Oh, the wind's strong. I've lost sight of him. There he is. She should really put some gloves on, huh? I can't believe they haven't fixed that. It's such a small thing, but everyone notices it. Well, I think we made it around them. Um, did we ever visit that hut? I don't remember. Let's go ahead and visit. Uh, I think I see some deer over there. So, <clears throat> um, so current plan, we'll drop off stuff in these huts and take a look at those deer. Now, we've seen... Uh, wolves and bear here. So I need to be on the lookout. Oh, we haven't been here. I think I can use this. Cool. Uh, I'll never turn down matches. I think there's another um, fishing hut on the other side. So yeah, let's drop off, especially this water, and uh, take a look in the bay. Which one? Is our uh, summer home. Uh, now we've looted it already. It doesn't have a whole lot of storage space, but um, Uh, hi Muhammad. Welcome back. How are you? What's going on? Let's, um, let's drop a bunch of heavy stuff. We've got wood. I'm not going to craft just yet. Put those down. didn't look to see how heavy these are. They're not that heavy, actually. Um, these arrowheads are really heavy, though. Let's put them in the trash can. Um, I'm quite well. I'm a little bit tired, but otherwise, I'm very, very well. Um, have you seen this game before? I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I remember you coming and uh, watching me play this game. Uh, we don't need all these. I don't know why we have so many. Nope. Uh, it's a survival game. And um, it's somewhat, somewhat realistic. There's no zombies or anything like that. It's just very cold. And there's nobody else um, 
and you have to survive. Um, this wildlife, yeah, it's very pretty. Um, <clears throat> I think we're we're gonna see if we can't um, hunt a little deer. Hey, Just Beer Bee, what's up, man? The weather is not great, but we need some food. So we're going to see if we can get a deer. Um, but we've, we've already seen one wolf in the area. Let me get in my wolf stance here. So say, there's a nice deer. Um, we can sneak up on him, but we can't shoot the bow crouched. A link to the past randomizer. Oh man, I a lot of streamers are playing that. It looks really fun. I really love a link to the past. I I want to play it myself. I mean the the randomizer. Uh, how's it going? Is it is it harder than you thought? Um, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Our character is a little hungry, but I'm doing well. Actually, I'm a little hungry myself. <clears throat> So, this may not be the best idea, because he's not going to die instantly unless we headshot him. And it's getting late, but we have to kind of chase him down. Unlock and skill, yeah. It's like sunset. How much closer do you think I can get? Probably that's about it. Oh, it hit the ice. So we gotta recover our arrow. Right now we only have three. There it is. Oh, but he's, he's not that far away. Let's give it another shot. If we can get all this meat back to the hut, we'll be doing pretty well. So every time you fire the arrow and it hits something, or I mean the ice included, it, it loses a bit of condition. Mmm, yes! One shot, one kill. I mean, technically they were two shots, but... He died when we hit him. So, big deal is to get the arrow. Oh, our arrow broke! Well, that sucks. Um, let's get all this meat. And the, the, the wolves are going to be coming for us. Should we, we should get the gut. Honestly, we should get the hide, too. This is probably a bad idea. Okay. Oh, shit. So, um, the aurora is very pretty. But it means that the animals are much more aggressive. Um, we're probably... This is... This is like a, this is not good. Um, wow, it's so pretty. God, I have never been so hungry in my life. But it essentially means that uh, if the wolf gets us, they're gonna, they're gonna tear us apart. Okay. Let's hope we can climb up here. Let's hope there's no wolves. It's a lot of hoping. Um, I'm not even going to try to get to the far hut. Ooh! Wow. Well, that went really well. Really, really well. Um, 
I'm gonna drop these to start them. They have to they have to um, sit inside to cure. Let's, might as well go ahead and get the arrowhead off of this. So I have to make sure we don't forget the the deer hide, at least when we leave. Um, I don't think we have any real wood. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. If we can find a little wood in this... Yeah. Well, this one has lockers. Um, shoot, there's a piece of wood in the other thing. I was going to say, let's make a little fire outside, because the fire will keep the animals away, but don't have wood, so I think we're just going to sleep just like we are the um, <laughs> carrying our 20 pounds of meat. Uh, in the morning, the aurora will be gone. In fact, we might just walk across in the middle of the night. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, aim higher. Yeah, there's definitely a big drop. And uh, I think the drop is uh, realistic in the sense that it further the shot, the more it drops. Um, it's hard to know exactly how far deer is. But we managed to get it. I'm not sure how we killed it, because I'm pretty sure we hit its body. Um, I think it's just luck. There's like a smaller chance. It's very bright in here. Surely we can... I mean, I can see the table. Hey, my stomach is... Um, I think she can wait until let's have a soda. I don't want to be cheaty, McCheaterton, and um, just go on an empty stomach all the time. All right, we're fully rested. It's still not morning. I'm thinking, well, the aurora's gone. Let, let's, let's try to get to the other hut. We have some wood there. It's just about dawn. Maybe we should have lived in the uh, the hut with the workbench. Let's yeah, let's move everything. Man, I'm not sure I can carry much more. You can do it. I'm have confidence in you. I don't know where we put stuff. I think the trash can, uh, which I can't see. There we go. Uh, there's no take all. So, so hungry. Okay, we got some rocks on the floor, a little more water. Um, let's get this crate. We'll make a nice big fire, cook all this meat, or cook half of it. anything in here all right so first thing let's move to the other cabin I think the other cabin makes sense the one with the workbench um, we're carrying a lot of stuff right now
Um, and once we drop everything, first thing is we'll cook. Have a nice breakfast. And, um, and then I think, hey, we've got food. Let's go ahead and start crafting. We'll make a bunch more arrows. Um, is this the cabin? This doesn't look like the cabin. Oh, this is the cabin. Okay, so yeah, these lockers are nice, too. Alright, um... Alright, fresh gut on the ground. Fresh deer hide on the ground. Um, let's put some water down. It's super heavy. Um, I think we can, since we're gonna uh, start eating deer, we can put our nice canned foods in the in the fridge, so to speak. Um, and all the stuff we want for crafting. Don't use ZS and ES. Um, okay, good tip. That's kind of weird. I always thought um, that was the good one. So if we make snares, we actually probably should get some more reclaimed wood. Uh, but let's get food first. Now, I don't think there's any nice fire over here. But, but maybe this is sheltered. It's kind of in a divot. Like a, you know, fire pit. Okay, can't, can't make a fire there. Um, looks like this is maybe the best we can have for. So let's do... It's too windy to start a fire. 9x? Okay, yeah. I've, I've used that one too. What's that? I think it just rocks. So, whenever you don't have a fire pit, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, because the wind can switch direction on you. Let's make it here. Let's try to make it here. I love that it'll let you set it up and then it'll tell you, oh, by the way, it's too windy to make a fire. <clears throat> Come on, little fire. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I know the game well enough anymore to, to, uh, to play it. Um, I, I've seen people play it, and it, I think you have to know a lot to be really good at it. Um, I did a randomized La Mulana. I'm not sure if you've heard of that, but it's, um, it's kind of like Zelda. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. Kind of like a Metroidvania, and um, it too has a randomizer. Super fun, super fun. Cooked. All right, so now we've got a little food in our bellies. Let's cook a couple more of these. It's amazing how fast you can eat an entire deer. I think that. Maybe she's just not very good at uh, getting the meat.
Yeah, I'm not really big on glitches. Um, we're going to go through this super fast, so let's... Shit. I'd like to cook it all. Uh, we have to give up our reclaimed wood. Which we were going to use for crafting. Uh, but it's fine. There's plenty of wood around. We just have to get it. Every one of these pallets is uh, eight wood or something. Well, so far, our plan is going quite well. The wind shifted, but I think we're still okay. And we've cooked everything. Let's not waste the fire. It mixes Zelda and A Link to the Past. How is what? Is, how? Okay, I think that's good. So. Um, all right, next order of business. This meat is very smelly. Let's eat what we have it, uh, to fill our bellies, and then let's put it away. Put the... I'm going to put the meat in this one. Okay, beautiful. Everything is going quite well. You go through a door, it may happen that you're in Metroid. That's very strange. And you just suddenly become Samus? Okay. We've got a nice stockpile of meat for at least a couple days. And we're warm. Let's craft. Start with a couple arrows. Um, Oh, wow. It takes an hour and a half to make an arrow. She's a, she's a real craftsman. Um, the good news is that it levels up our bow skills, our bow hunting skills. Um, which kind of doesn't make sense, but uh, I'll take it in this game. Any favors are welcome. Let's see how much it levels up. So, uh, I don't know, it's maybe a tenth of the way. The avatars are as usual. So you're saying you switch back and forth between Link and Samus? All right, it went up a small amount, but not a whole lot. Like, it's not just Link playing in Metroid's world, in the Metroid world. Um... This is going to take forever. I don't think we're going to craft it. I think uh, we'll leave all the supplies here, and when we need more arrows, we'll come back and make them. 
Well, that... So, so because we get experience, it kind of makes sense just to craft them all. Which I feel like is actually... Now I don't like it as a game mechanic because it, it gives us an, ins an incentive not to go out and play. Hey, Minamorto. What's up? And how are your plays like in Metroid World? You play Samus. That's pretty, that's pretty weird, but interesting. Uh, perfect. All right. Um, let's call it quits for the night. Um, grab a little water. Let's uh, let's eat something. Just make a purchase. You hope you don't regret. Kind of sounds ominous. Um, I hope you don't regret it. Also. But try not to regret your purchases. I think that's the worst feeling in the world. Um, don't have any advice on avoiding that feeling, but... Um, do try. How many errors did we make? Oh, we've got five brand spanking new arrows plus eight brand spanking new arrows plus two that are not brand spanking new that's 15 arrows that is a lot of arrows why why are these in different stacks maybe it just stacks to eight i'm gonna need to rest soon um put those away because I have an idea. Um, you bought a pre-owned pre 3DS XL Monster Hunter Edition 4 with a game on game stop and protection plan. Uh, I have very little idea what that means, but if you like Monster Hunter, um, sounds like that might be something that you'd be into. <laughs> sounds pretty exciting. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and read an hour. We still have, we still have tiredness. Uh, that's it for that book, so we can burn the book for to make an easy fire. Never played it. Well, that that is pretty. Um, it's pretty bold. It's a pretty bold purchase. I I've heard. I mean, I uh, I was talking to people who were playing it. Uh, it seemed to be exciting. But I I've never played it myself. Uh, it it seems interesting that you would that you would get the um, uh, branded version of, of of a game when you've never played the game. I guess. I guess you're just, you're hoping that you'll like it. Um, well, maybe. You never know. I feel like a lot of games that I anticipate liking, I don't. And then a lot of games I don't anticipate liking, I do. So you never know. Sometimes it works out. I mean, sometimes you get what you want. <clears throat> um...
All right, let's make uh, let's make some snares. So let's just let's take this thing down. And these are not cured yet. I think I just put away the guts in here. Alright, so let's uh, turn these into snares and then start making arrows again. I don't even look to see how long that took. 30 minutes, okay. It takes less time to make a snare than it takes to make an arrow. <clears throat> I feel like there should be a crafting skill instead of instead of making the arrow crafting. Level up your bow hunting. Um, but oh well. Now, I don't think that she can craft when she has a. Um, a status in the red. Let's see. You know that guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right about now. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem crazy. I think, and I, you know, don't take this uh, as medical advice. But I think you can drink your NP for a couple of times, and it's hydrating. But you probably don't want to do it too too much. Um, where are those lockers? Oops. All right, so we pretty much spent this whole day, and uh, very quickly spent this whole day crafting. Um, but that's fine. That's exactly what we want to do. <clears throat> Let's... We're not really tired yet. Let's see if we can go make another arrow or two before we have to go to bed. Now, it is snowing, so we're going to get wet. So we might wind up cold. We're frostbitten. Oh. oh, it's really dark. Shit. I'm terrified of the aurora, I have to say. Um, Maybe even partially because it's so pretty. Okay. Um, let's definitely hit the hay. I don't want to go out there and craft during the aurora. So I think we're going to do more hunting. Oh dear. We want good weather so that we can track the deer um, and, and wait for it to bleed out. Alright, we're two... Rested to sleep. The aurora was visible in southwest Germany. That's 
crazy. I thought I never would have guessed um, that that was even possible. I mean, Germany's like in the middle. It's not even north. I mean, you, is it, do people in Minnesota see, uh, see the aurora? People in Canada? I mean, I guess, of course they see it in Canada, but how far up in Canada? Like, you know what I mean. Uh, right, put those away. I thought we made more arrows. Interesting. Um, Alright, we can put some of these in the thing. Yeah, that's pretty neat. I, I mean, I definitely want to see it if I could. keep two for a fire. That's pretty good. How's our weight? Underweight? Underweight? Underpaid? Yeah, I could have sworn, didn't we just make an arrow? Why do we only have these? Oh, well. Let's eat. And then put the rest of the meat away. Okay. Now what are we going to do? Let, let's try to craft. We'll see if it's too cold. The wind is certainly howling. Oh my goodness. So we've got a... A, a right blizzard here. Um, but we're, it's not cold, so. Oh, now it's cold. But only one arrow, so no big deal. Let's see if we can spend an hour and a half out here. Oh, you see those bars going down. Oh, it's warming up. It may be a blizzard, but we can still craft. Hi, Cyan. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Uh, it got really cold really quick. Really, 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 Damn. really quick. Um... Sam, thank you for the for the bits for the bit. Uh, we we just got frozen, um, but I think we're all right. We we definitely need to hang out inside for a bit and dry off. I think we got cold enough that our clothes stopped being so effective. Um, anyway, welcome welcome Sam. We, things got kind of crazy, so I got sort of carried away. Um, but, well. Alright, let's... So we're almost out of food. We really, we really want to go out and hunt now. The weather's keeping us from doing that. Got at least two arrows. Yeah. Um, honestly, we probably don't need to carry more than four arrows total. Because if we miss that many times, maybe we should head back and think about our decisions. Um, uh, 
Well, I certainly can't go out there until it warms up. Did we have? Oh, we didn't put the wood on the floor. We put the it was just in the locker. Is this game out of early access? Hey, ahoy! Um, welcome. I I honestly don't remember. Um, they had something I think that was like a release maybe last August, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, should should be easy to check though on Google. Um, it's they're they're still working on it though. I know that much. They're still doing stuff to it. So maybe not. Um, well, we've torn this whole place apart. I think. Uh, we could take a little nap, but I'm going to just poke outside and see what the weather's like. I, I know it's windy, but... Oh my god. So we're fine, um, but we're going to keep getting wet, so... I think we'll just take a little nap. Sounds much better. We're still quite wet though. Uh, we took a, a little chunk of health damage because we got so cold. Um. Make a couple more arrows. Played Darkest Dungeon when it was first released on the Relaxes and liked it a lot, but when I went back to check it out, it actually wasn't really fresh anymore. You wish you'd waited for the full release? Um, I can understand that. I haven't played Darkest Dungeon, but um, generally my experience is that the full release doesn't really matter. I mean, think of Paladins, right? They didn't even have a patch for the full release, so... Um, what matters is how much they update it. Um, I'm just gonna keep keep crafting. I think we'll, we'll go back out hunting tomorrow. Or we might get too thirsty here. fun and frustrating. I've heard that it's kind of frustrating. Um, that you can't really get ahead or it feels like uh, it keeps pushing you down. Are we out of water? I think we're out of water. Um, let's make a fire just for water. Thing we can put in here. Now sitting sitting by a fire will dry you out. Um, I'm not sure if it's faster than being indoors, but uh, I would guess it is. But who knows? Oops. Okay, so, uh, I 
Um, yeah, I've played, played quite a lot of Early Access, and I feel like... For the most part, I wait and try back in a while. And then it's kind of like, oh, they've added this stuff, it really changed it. Um, some games I just keep playing. Um, I've, I've streamed, God, I don't know, like 200 hours of Oxygen not included, and then played another 300 or so off stream. Oxygen not included is, uh, is my jam. Um, but games like this, I often just kind of play in a spurt and come back to after a while. Uh, they're really entertaining. But then you feel like you've done, I don't know, you've had enough excitement. <laughs> Maybe you want something else. Um... We have a gallon. I want more. Hey, dog. Hello, long, dark, my old friend. Um, exactly. I think, honestly, that's, that's really the right tone for this game, too. Something dark and beautiful. Alright, that looks good. I think... I don't think we're going to get another... Go, but I'm going to give it a shot. Sometimes you can... Do it on the embers. Doesn't look like we were lucky. I don't. Why am I going that way when the door's right here? Like chocolate, yeah, exactly. Um. All right. Water is a whole lot more important than food. Cause uh, we can eat these peaches and stuff. So tomorrow it's time to hunt again. We've, we've got tons of arrows. Let's take a look at our bow hunting skills. We've almost leveled up. Um, we're level two, which means our bow sway is reduced by 25, but I still got some swagger. Uh, arrow damage increased by 10%. Uh, I have no idea what three offers. Sometimes you get like unique sort of benefits. Um, I'm pretty sure at five you get the ability to shoot while crouched, which is pretty big. Because um, it means you don't have to kind of stand up and shoot so quickly. So... I think we're ready. We've just uh, just got to make it to morning. Um, I think it, <sighs> there's been a couple games that I didn't like that I played through early access, and I kept thinking, oh, eventually it'll get better. Uh, it never really happened. Like, um, what's it called? Starbound? The game that's kind of like Terraria. But sort of a knockoff. They just never, in my opinion, they never really figured out what they're trying to do. Um, and it was kind of okay. But it didn't grab me like Terraria. I love Terraria. Well, we're pretty hungry. Glad you never got it. I mean, I'm sure some people liked it. I, I don't know. But, uh... It was just... I just would rather play Terraria, I guess. 
Um, try to decide if I should eat some peaches. You think so, Doug? Well, you get your wish. Um, all right, we got half a belly. Let's see if it's uh, clear outside, clear enough to hunt a deer or a wolf. It's snowing. I don't like that. You love peaches? Me too. Um... Well, the visibility sucks. And I, I don't see a deer. I see the carcass, I think, of the deer that we shot. Or maybe I'm just making that up. But I don't see shit. I mean... To be fair, Doug, doesn't everybody like peaches? Like, who doesn't like peaches? It's like, who doesn't like strawberries, you know? Everybody likes strawberries. Now, bananas are contentious. Some people don't like bananas, and that's okay, but strawberries? Everybody likes strawberries. Everybody likes peaches. Played a decent amount of terraria. Had a reasonable time with it. Wasn't really what you were expecting. Uh, Oh, that sucks. That sucks. What were you expecting? Going into it. Man, I can't see shit. I certainly don't see any deer. It's starting to get wet. Bananas are wonderful. They're good for muscles and brains. I mean, I like bananas. I'm just saying some people don't like bananas. And I get it, you know? Like, I get it. Some people don't like kiwi. I don't really get it, but it's a fact. Some people don't like kiwi. Um, or the fruit. Uh, let's see. What I mean, but raspberries? Everybody likes raspberries. Like... You see what I'm saying? Some fruits are just everyone likes. I'm kind of walking towards this place where we saw the uh, wolf. With honestly the, the hope of maybe getting the wolf, but I, I don't see him. You were expecting a heavier focus on base building? Yeah, it's kind of optional. Um, I feel like most of the building is just making stages to fight the bosses. Um, Let's head over to this cottage. Let's... Yeah, so we're definitely getting wet. You see these things uh, filling up? I don't want to stay out too long. You had a peach tree in your garden and you didn't like peaches in your childhood. That is a tragedy. That's a waste. Just be a bit, you wasted your, your youth. He just get kind of mushy. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> uh, to be fair, firm peaches are better. I mean, I'll give you that. But I, I take, I'll take peach paste any, any day of the week. Uh, looks like we've been here. Actually, I think we might be able to dry out in here. 
Twenty percent wet. Let's uh let's take a little take a little snooze and look at the snow. Just had too many peaches, yeah. My um uh my grandfather had pear tree outside his house and and I liked pears, so that worked out. <laughs> Pears is another one where I think a lot of people don't like pears, but uh, I don't really understand what's wrong with those people. <clears throat> Let's see if my theory is right. Still 20% wet. <sighs> it's like being... Uh, being inside in a, a bad weather, you know, you just look out and you go, oh, I'm glad, glad I don't have to be out there. Honestly, I'm half expecting a wolf just to come uh, in front of the door and start uh, charging. Too many peaches. Peaches for free. Well, we're not really drying out, so. Let's head this way, and then we'll sweep back to the cottage and maybe take an hour nap. I really gotta clean my screen before I play this game. Oh shit, what's that? That's a bear. A bear. He's glitched on the mountain. I mean, he's not glitched, but he's trying to climb it or something. I guess you could count that as a glitch. See him? Or is it a moose? I think it's a bear. I can't even tell. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight a bear with my bow and arrow. What the hell is that? That's got to be a bear, right? That's a bear. That's a bear. That's a bear. Looked like he had antlers. Durian? I've never had durian. Um, I, I've heard mixed things. Obviously, everybody hates the way it smells, but even the way it tastes, I haven't heard too many, uh, Too many like glowing recommendations. Everybody's like, it's all right. Seems like a fruit with a big cost. Um, so I kind of want to go get my gun and shoot the bear, but I think it's just because I'm getting stir crazy. We don't really need uh, bear hide. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I mean, so with with bear hide, you can make a bear cloak. Or a bearskin bedroll. Um, the bedroll is nice, but it's very heavy. And the coat is nice, but it's very heavy. Um, I feel like the wolfskin coat's too heavy, and this is four four pounds more than that, so I don't think I'm gonna be carrying around a bearskin coat anytime soon. The moose hide cloak is actually lighter than the bearskin cloak. This is the heaviest, heaviest thing there is. What we really want is a moose. This thing is super cool. It lets you carry a little bit more weight. Um, I want to say it's about six, six pounds. So the only thing that the bear would really offer us is meat. Hey, I mean that's good. We do we do need meat. I, 
I'm pretty sure that when you shoot a bear, it doesn't get scared. Um, it it attacks. Oh shit! What's that? Oh, it's the strap on the backpack. I thought there was something leaning behind the backpack. Um, yeah, so when you shoot the bear, it just gets angry, you know? And you have to shoot it, like, two or three times. Yeah, the, it would end the adventure, though. I mean, we'd have to start back at the beginning. There's no, um, there's no playing around, really, in this game. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe we'd survive a bear attack. You, you also, you can't fend off a bear attack. All you can do is take it, which is kind of, uh, kind of interesting. You just, uh, you just sit there and take it and hope that it gets bored. Um, well, we're out of food. I really wish that we could have, have ever tried to fend off a bear attack in real life or in game. Cause not in game, no. Um, actually, yeah, I have in-game. Of course, you just take it. I mean, if the bear's cute. Um. Oh, let's see. Unfollow. Okay. Well. Uh, sorry to see you go, Doug. Well, we're pretty hungry. Pretty hungry. But we're dry again, so... Uh, I... I'm trying to think, does it make sense to go get the gun, to go get the rifle, come back here, see if the bear is still here, fend it off with their fists, and if the bear is still here, I mean, if it were close enough to the cottage that I could shoot it and then hop inside... Like, if the bear came here, and I could shoot it and then hop inside, boop it in the nose, uh-huh, uh-huh, that's a, that's a good idea. Well, the, the visibility's better. Let's see if we see anything. Don't see shit. Okay, then here's what I'm going to do. This is stupid, but... Let's walk back towards the house and get the rifle. Oh, I need to find food. And, or maybe we'll see a wolf, you know, on the way. I'm not necessarily going to shoot the bear. I just want to be prepared if we see him on the road. How about that? Yeah, I don't see anything out here. It's beautiful. It's pris pristine. Crystal clear. I don't see shit. Maybe they hid because it was a blizzard or something. I don't know. Oh man, it's so clear you can see the, the, the far house. The um
Misanthropes Homestead. Oh, I see a I see a wolf. All right, we're gonna go for the wolf. So I'm gonna sneak up to him if he sees me. Well, I'll have to stand. I'm kind of just telling myself to remember. You can't shoot when crouched, so we have to stand. Let's keep him in front of the snows. Um, but if I get a good shot, maybe I'll try shooting first. Or maybe I should just get ready. Uh-oh. What? He didn't even notice it? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Alright. Well, we missed him twice. Um... Shit. Okay, get rid of the bleeding. What else we got? Uh, infection risk. Infection. Sprained wrist. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these because I want to be able to pick up the bow. So we're 75 condition. Let's try to get our arrows and then try to find the Try to find the wolf. Yeah, I don't see shit. There's one of them. And the other one. Nice. Alright, so the blood trail's there. We'll follow the blood trail. Looks like I can see him anyway. We don't really need the blood, but... Um, now, he should bleed out. We, we got him with the hatchet, I think. He should eventually bleed out. And we should just wait for that to happen. But I want to keep him... Um, in my sights so that we can go ahead and scoop up the oh man there's two wolves to the left so I've noticed this twice now when a wolf will um, attack he kinda jerks to the left I assume just because if he went straight, it would be too easy to shoot him. Stop howling, you're scaring me. Alright, I'm pretty sure that's our wolf. Oh my god, they're everywhere now. Looks like there's something down on the ice. Maybe that's the wolf, and then this one that's walking is actually... It's actually just his buddy. Yep. Looks like it. Apparently the wolves won't eat wolves. Nine pounds! That's a crappy wolf. That's a tiny little wolf, nine pounds. It's like a baby. 
Um, we're gonna go straight to the house. But even going straight to the house, the wolves can see you, sense you, from quite a ways when you're carrying me. Look at that. He's running. No, you, you really should, but you don't. I think it should increase body heat, but also make you um, wet, uh, damp. Y you know what I mean. Um, but sadly, it does neither. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cook this meat. And... Um, Spend the night just resting up. It's probably enough. We need to check our clothes. We need to mend if anything is, uh, is low enough. It's a nice day out, we can actually use the magnifying glass, which is very rare. I used to do that as a kid, make a little Come on, little fire. Come on. Um I think just basically like oh shit. That didn't work. Wait, what? I can't even click it. That was weird. Um Oh, because it actually got too dark while we were um, doing it. Gosh darn it. Um, I was saying, as a kid, I used to take a magnifying glass and try to put little holes in a piece of paper. Um, but uh, you can... I've seen people start fires with uh, a... What do you call it? Like a sandwich, a sandwich bag filled with water turn into a little magnifying glass. Pretty crazy. All right. So we cook all this stuff. I'm pretty sure cooking reduces the smell. Um, we'll keep it inside anyway. Um, going back to your question, Ahoy, it, what it does do is it reduces your food or water more quickly. So you get more tired, um, you get thirstier or hungrier. I just can't remember which. Maybe both. All right. Well, it sucks that we um, were attacked by the wolf, but in the end, we got the best of them. And now he's dinner. I think literally dinner, because we're going to eat the whole thing. I mean, she just ate a wolf. Like, I think the balance is wrong. Surely wolves have more meat on them than that. Um, all right. So we'll head inside. We'll uh, patch up what, what we took damage on. I'm not sure if...
we were lucky it didn't damage any clothes, but probably it did. Um, so, a few things. You always try to use the magnifying glass to start the ember. You should give up after five minutes and bust out the flint. Yeah, it totally works. You just have to, like, wait, I guess. I remember, um, <clears throat> I remember always trying to take like the piece of paper and you get the magnifying glass just on the edge of the paper. That seemed to work better than trying to do it in the middle. Um, but I guess if you have like a piece of fuzz or something, uh, you know, some tinder, some nice tinder, should be easy. Nine pound wolf dinner. She eats like a horse. I mean, she'll literally eat a horse. <laughs> um... Yeah, so let's try to patch up maybe our rabbit skin gloves and our hat and maybe this. Um, let's put the... Well, honestly, we'll eat this in the morning, so might as well not put it away. Let's get the cloth. And then there should be some rabbit skins. And what else? Sewing, sewing kit. Sewing. And we'll do it on the porch. Big appetite. Yeah, she, uh, she says, you know, it's from running around, but, uh, I think she, Oh, we need gut? Fuck. Alright. Well, let's hook up our hat. I mean, it's just an excuse, you know. She just likes to eat. There's no. There's nothing wrong with that. She's like a teenager, you know. She uh, needs fuel. Uh, boots will leave. So we need a gut. I don't think we have any guts. Except the ones we just got, but they're not cured yet. Uh, I don't think we left ourselves any guts. They're all in the They're all in the fishing house. Okay, well, what is it? It's uh, one rabbit pelt and one cured gut, so we'll drop. We'll drop that. Uh, we'll start these curing. And got ourselves a wolf pelt so we can repair our jacket when we need to. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. So he didn't really tear us up. Honestly, I, I hate that we missed, but it's not that bad of an outcome. Um, so I'm going to head to bed. Uh, all right, so we the reason we came here is we, we said that we were going to bring that gun back just in case there's a moose. Now, you see, you see why I might not want to piss off a, a moose or a bear? Um, uh, I'm not always the best shot under duress. Even not under duress, let's be honest. Uh... If you've watched me play Paladins, I think you know that already. I don't play Canessa. Oh, it's another Aurora. Glad we're indoors. Okay, very good. Let's finish off the wolf. 
Actually, she just about finished the wolf. A third of a pound left. One hamburger. I mean, when you think of it like that, that's kind of crazy, right? Like, a third of a pound makes a hamburger. And she just ate nine pounds. Right? So, 36, uh, I mean, uh, 27 hamburgers. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. They need to change the numbers or something. All right. I think this is our... Which one do we want to use? Um, I guess it doesn't matter. How much her win rate dropped out of her scope got changed? Oh, I haven't even looked. I haven't seen it. She was already bad. Like, you know, for the average player. How much did it drop? Okay. We'll just carry this with us. It's not too heavy. Yeah. I mean, none of the maps are really very long. So that's probably why. How much burgers had Harold and Kumar ordered? So they finally arrived at the burger restaurant. So I've never seen Harold and Kumar. I'm not even sure what kind of movie it is. I assume a comedy, but I have no idea. Is it a stoner comedy? Like uh, Pineapple Express or something? Uh, we need bullets. How many bullets does it take to kill a bear? Alright. Let's come over by the window to... <coughs> Alright. We got a bear and a bow. I mean a bear. We got a bow and a rifle. Um, nothing's going to stand in our way. And we're pretty... We're pretty not tired, but I'm going to try to sleep one more hour. And it's not going to let me. Let's see how clear it is outside. Um... We got both of our arrows back, too, didn't we? Oh, it hurt her at the 95th percentile? Oh, I didn't expect that. I meant what her average win rate on the individual champion's graph. I'm, I'm actually surprised that it went down at the high level. Really surprised. How heavy are we? Oh, good. All right. So, even though we've got the rifle, I'm going to try to stick to the bow for the little stuff. Even the wolf. 41 to 38. I'm honestly surprised it was as high as 41. Huh. Yeah, you think the you think the better players it wouldn't bother as much, but maybe it uh, maybe it messed up all the aim bots. Looking for prey here. Um, I wonder 
wonder if we could somehow lure the bear to the cottages. Or... Something like that. I really wish those birds would go away. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the, I'd, I'd imagine there's very few places in the game where the sight lines are long enough that it even really makes sense. Like the heads were already big enough. There's, there's no benefit. Some people were saying it was a buff and I was like, I don't think that's a buff. God, it's so peaceful out here. It feels like, I mean, feels like when you go outside and it's just after dawn, it's nice and cold and crisp and quiet. The birds have been up for a couple of hours, but everybody else is still asleep. Except you, and you're all alone, and it's peaceful. Whatever the light touches is your kingdom. I think that's a reference to one of those bad Disney movies, isn't it? Alright. So we made it back. We've got... Um, no food. <laughs> we need food. Uh, we've got a gun and a bow. Let's kill something. Oh, actually, we're going to repair our mitts. Do we... Let's see if this is dry yet. It's 89% cured. I don't think we have any more. We used them for crafting. We should have taken these back. Ugh. Sucrose, get it together. Don't start with me. All right, so here we are, standing in the middle of the road. We're going to hitch our way to Vegas. Hi, Olivia. Everything's peaceful and serene. Let's kill something. Well, we're very hungry, you see. Um, and while technically we have some peaches uh, in the locker, um, they're not going to last. So, But man, I'm thinking of so many interesting little conditions we could play. Oh shit, it's a deer. So many interesting conditions we could play. Uh, one is you're not allowed to go inside. Another is you're not allowed to kill. Because um, you could totally live for quite a while. You just have to keep moving and scavenging. So we've got a we've got a prey here, and we're not going to be some monster and use the gun. We're going to use our bow, which is way less humane. I'm worried about the bear over there, but I don't see him. Grab your hatchet, run around and yell, Jackie is here. What's the fun in that if nobody hears it? Alright. Well, I don't see anything but this deer, which kind of... kind of seems strange. I don't believe it. Can the ice crack? If you get far enough out, the ice can crack, yeah. 
but it won't crack here near the shore. Um, you can't make a fire on it anywhere, though, which is kind of a big deal. Because if you're caught in a blizzard, you, you have to find some, some place to go. So this deer is looking at me head on, which makes it a lot harder to hit him. Um, and every time I kind of go at an angle, he just towards, turns toward me. He's just coming towards me, I think. Or, or maybe he's just standing still and I don't know how to move right. <laughs> I, I get the feeling he knows I'm here. Come on, dear. Come on, work with me. Work with me, buddy. He's coming. I need to turn on better Anna Ellison because he's kind of his lines are flickering a bit. Okay, maybe maybe I ducked a little bit too early. I'm, I'm trying to see silhouette now, and it keeps going behind the, in front of the black. And of course, I move my head, thinking that it's going to do something. But okay, okay, okay. Come here, come here, come here. Getting close. Stop moving away. This is just this is just like real life. Just like real life. So I'm looking for my arrow. I think I see the arrow out here to the far right. I'm gonna swing by it and take another shot. Run, Bambi. Didn't, didn't, uh... Oh, man. <sighs> Second miss. I don't, I'm not quite sure where that second arrow went. I don't see it. So he's really close to like the edge of the shore, the ocean. So I'm going to let him come back over, and in the meantime, um, I'll look around for the arrow. I don't know if they can skid or skitter or anything like that. Like, could it have come up here? Oh, there it is. I can get around uh, around him. Take another shot. Oh, uh, see, he, he really can't be close at all. All right, let's try to chase him back towards the shore at least.
Um, so there's something over there. I think you can you can find things washed up, but it's really dangerous because the um, it can break. And um, oh man, that's so okay. You can. I'm trying to. I'm trying to squat down at the last last possible moment, but they really don't let you get very close at all. All right. Now we've somehow managed to kill three deer with the bow. This is really the only one that's offered as much resistance. So clearly, he's he's our uh, our mental equal. Go Legolas! Oh my God. Okay. So again, we're not broadside, right? It's much harder to hit him. I wish I saw where the arrows landed last time. Like, too close, too far. Alright, I think he's just about on the shore. It must have went low. That one didn't. I think it hit him in right in the back of the head. Um, we'll, we'll look for the other arrow. Speaking of which, where's my arrow, buddy? Where's my arrow? Um... Let's get the meat and the uh, guts. Probably leave the hide. Now this is two meals for her. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Okay, so yeah, I I don't see my arrow. Now when it breaks, it actually drops a thing called broken arrow. So it, it may just be underneath the deer, which is a real shame. Uh, but there were two arrows, yeah. Oh, there's one. The, the arrows are pretty valuable. It was a pain in the ass to get... Uh, to get them. Wait. Did we somehow kill it and the arrow flew off of it? That sucks. That means you have to worry about, uh, like, even if you get the shot, you might have to look around for your arrow. Well, fair enough, game. I guess that's... Let's just say it went through his head. Um, okay. Let's get some wood. Let's cook up dinner. Whew. We got all of our arrows back. I think that makes us master class hunters. Come on, little fire. Wow, that didn't work. Uh, not that great at making fire, though.
Um, kind of wish there was more wildlife in this game. I mean, I, I think they're afraid of adding something that just is like a reskin. Like the deer acts differently than the wolf, which acts differently than the bear. But... Oh, shit. So, there's a wolf. As you may have heard. He's, um, he's trying to get our, our meal. So it's important not to let the fire run out. Uh, the fire could go out if the wind changes direction. So we just have to be somewhat careful. I'm going to go ahead and cook it all if we can, because we know now from experience it doesn't last very long. In each one of these steaks we cook, we get experience. Um, In-game, in the cooking skill, Which, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but makes us better. <laughs> uh, plus 20% calories from any cooked food item. No calorie loss in smashing cans. Cooking time is reduced by 20%. So these are good things. These are good things. I haven't heard the wolf, so he may have ran off and not come back. Up, up the road, I suppose. I'm not sure what our next goal should be. I mean, we have enough food for a couple of days, but, you know, that's not, it's not going to last. So we could stockpile food. Um, that's one option. We could also plan another expedition to another map. Um, could also go after the bear. Uh, yeah, actually, if it's uh, the uncooked meat will last longer outside. Um, if you know it's it's so cold. The, uh, you can just put it in the snow. Oh my goodness. Um, I, there's certain rules. I don't know all the rules, but certain things will last longer if you put them in boxes, like containers. If freezing doesn't have any drawbacks now. And your water can't freeze either. Um, but your clothes can. If your clothes get wet and then they freeze, you can get um, frostbite. Um, I, I was actually I think I talked about that in a previous stream. It's a little bit strange that your water doesn't freeze, but you know, it is what it is. It would be it would be an interesting thing if they added it as an option because then you'd have to make a fire to thaw out your water. Um, 
which isn't always possible when you're when you're outdoors. All right, let's put some of this meat away. We can't eat all of this tonight. Drop a little bit of water. Um, so my thoughts are, I'm going to look for the bear, and if it if we can get any sort of advantage, some kind of position where it makes sense, where we can do it like a little bit safely, then maybe maybe we'll engage the bear. Um, and then I guess we'll just decide. So is this cured yet? 98%. Let's drop the new stuff. Um, did we not pick up the hide? I don't think we picked up the hide. That's okay. We have a lot of deer hide up there. Okay. Um, I, I mean, I would assume you could just eat it frozen anyway, right? Like, maybe it would make you colder, but it's just like a deer popsicle. I mean, everybody likes deer popsicles, right? Uh, I, I guess making you colder is, is pretty bad, but that's probably all it would do. There we go. Cured gut. It's probably too dark, but I'm going to try it anyway. Never know. Sometimes it works out. We're going to repair our mitts. Can't repair well in the dark. <clears throat> Let's see if, uh, see if that wolf is still around. Very nice. Um, our rabbit skin mitts are in near pristine condition. Okay, so what else do we want to put anything away? We got a little wood. Let's keep a little wood. Let's keep a little thing. Let's see arrows. Um, Yes, yeah, mostly the gun, I think. We, we were at a really nice weight without the gun, but... All right, can we make it another hour? It's much better to sleep than to um, pass time because when you pass time you burn full calories when you sleep you burn half calories um, that's actually I think that's a setting so one of the things that brought me back to this game is that they added custom um, customization and so you can 
for a wide range of different features. You can turn them on or off, make them more or less annoying. Um, and there's a lot about this game that can be annoying, depending on what you have tolerance for, you know, like uh, clothes, clothes degrading, the food that you eat, the f amount of food that you need to eat, the aggressiveness of the wolves, all these kinds of things. There's like 50 different settings. Uh, weather doesn't sound good, though, I'll tell you that. There's pretty much nothing we can do in here. Um, one of the things that I have turned off is something called... Uh, um, I, can't, I can't even think of the name. It's restlessness. It's like... Um, You get cooped up inside, indoors. Cabin fever. It's called cabin fever. Um, and it makes it so you have to go outside. And I just think it's stupid. It's just... It's totally just trying to put you in a dangerous situation for no real reason. I mean... I'm sure it would be frustrating to be alone in the wilderness, but if I had a house, I'm not going out into a blizzard just because I'm restless. Um, so I don't, I don't buy it. Uh, but I can turn that off, and that's that's what makes it great. Back when I couldn't turn that off, it was a whole lot of how well did the developers cater to what I think is annoying? And not everyone's satisfied. All right. It's bear time. This is such a terrifically bad idea. Um, I, I don't really know where the bear is. Clearly, this is a bear zone because um, we've seen them essentially right outside the cabins. I mean, in the parking lot. But we've also seen him down here, so he must wander. Or she. It's hard to tell with a bear. It's just like an alligator. You have to stick your... Well, never mind. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so this is way too far away to be able to shoot the bear and run indoors. So, and I probably wouldn't shoot it from here, but if we could get it from the top of the bridge, maybe? You know? I think maybe he's just cleared out of here. Now we've been up here. This is where we went to get our um, maple sapling to make our bow. Um, it looks like that might... maybe not. I was thinking that might be a cave, but now that I zoom in it doesn't seem to be. Alright, we've looted this, so probably went that way. kind of wandering. I mean, we have a we have all the necessities taken care of, so 
We have a bit of time. Let's see if any of these are cattails. Doesn't look like it. And we've picked all of these, or many of these at least. Delicious and nutritious. Nature's corn dogs. There's the bear. <sighs> so we could shoot it and hope that it can't climb a rock, but uh, oh god, that was bad for your ankles. Um, I think we know that it can climb the rock. I, I, pretty confident in climbing the rock, but maybe if we get, like, up here? How's our condition? See, we can't climb the rock. She can't jump. She's white. Yeah, I can't get up there. That would probably be a good place to shoot it from if I could get up there. Oh god. Alright, so she can she can sprain her ankles and her wrists and all sorts of stuff. Um Yeah, I don't have an idea. I mean we could just go for it, shoot him in the middle of the day, but that's, that's kind of risky. That's just like rolling a die. And uh, I don't think the die is in our favor. Go for the headshot, yeah. Uh, I've lost sight of it. See, this would be probably a good shot too. I don't know if they can, or if they're smart enough to come around and. Oh, Risto, that's such a good idea. You can hide in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. The problem is, this is a this is a hard shot. You know. Um. Oh, I hit it. So I'll go for another shot, and if it's if it comes close, then I'll get in the car. My heart is racing right now, <clears throat> uh, but my fingers are steady. I don't see it. It's going to come around behind me, isn't it? Did I just see it? Oh my god, I have no clue, and I'm scared. Like, I'm thinking, what if the AI told it, oh, you can't get there straight away, so come around the water, and go over the ice, and come back on this side. Or maybe, he's given up. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe the bear has given up on attacking me and is now, uh, 
running. Alright. I want to get eyes on it. So that's what I'm going to do. For a while, if we see it, we'll, we can run to the car. We need to find its blood trail. Because I definitely popped it. If we can find its blood, we can figure out where he went. He's, he's, he's right around the rock, isn't he? He's waiting for me. Here's where I shot him. Now we really don't want the wind to pick up, because that'll make the blood go away. Uh, rifle rounds are very valuable compared to arrows. You can't make rifle rounds. Um, you can make a relatively large amount of arrows if you expend a relatively large amount of effort though. Uh, because you can turn any sort of junk metal into arrowheads and then um, you're probably limited by saplings because you have to have saplings to make arrows, the, the shafts. And um, Those, uh, those are also finite. Uh, I feel like we're in one of those cartoons, you know, where they hold the magnifying glass up in front of them. And... Are those bear prints? These are bear prints. Wait, he went this way? He's behind me, isn't he? Oh, there he is. I mean, the blood. Oh my god. He went out on the ice. So, it's snowing, so the snow is going to cover up the blood, but if I hurry, I can follow it. If any of you see the bear while I'm looking down at the ground, let me know, because it should be easy to see him, right? He's out on the fucking ice. Oh, fuck. I think we've lost the blood trail. I think it's I think it's snowed too much. So he must have gone this way. Um there's the water. He couldn't have gone into the water. Uh, I thought we were going to have clear skies. So I pushed forward hoping that we could, um, the, the, the blood uh, 
disappears, you know, in time as he drops it. So if we could get far enough forward, we could see it while it's still fresh. But at this point, I could be really far from where he is. I just sort of thought I could see him skittering around on the ice. There's a deer. Like, you can see pretty far still. Here's our deer. The uh, the feathers are used to make the arrows. The part they're one of the ingredients. Well, we had some pretty bad luck with this. Uh, with this snow. I I don't really have any ideas. I mean it could it maybe it just charge straight across the ice. Or it could have doubled back and gone back on land. The only thing I know is to go back close to where it went into the thing and see if maybe we missed the trail somehow. doesn't work the crow crows should will eventually be circling the body um, because he will eventually bleed out I heard something moving that's the bear Apparently, he went in the water and then went back up the river. So, um, well, we've got eyes on him, and he's not charging us. So, I think at this point, he'll bleed out. We just have to wait. Uh, we could also shoot him again, of course, to speed up the process. But we're not by the car now. Uh, so, that's dangerous. He, he can still, you know kill us, even though he's mortally wounded. Um, if he comes far enough this way, we can run to the cabin. I hope he's a fat one, so we can eat, eat him for a week. Slash, hope he doesn't kill me. Well, that was funny. We we went out all on the ice, and it's just that he uh, he he went on the ice and immediately cut back to the river. Um. As long as he keeps coming this way, I'm going to keep doing this because, like I said, I'll shoot him again if I get within running distance. 
of the cabin. The car was a great idea, Risto, but and in fact, the car is better than the cabin because at least you can s still see outside. You can't see out of the cabin. Um, if he changes what he's doing, I'll probably go to see if he's still dropping blood. He should be dropping blood. Getting close. Honestly, this might be close enough, but um, why not let him walk to the door? Easier to lug the meat back. No. If he's going to do all the trouble of uh, bringing the meat indoors, I'll let him do it. I want to say it's like 80 pounds of meat. But maybe it's something like 50. I, I can't remember. Um, you can't even pick up all that. Okay. Ten point two for a bear? That's nothing! No! No way! You're bullshitting me. I hope you're Kappa. Ah. He still he still hurt me. He still got my wrist. Um, let's just hang out in here for a little bit. Um, shit. No, no, no. It's, it's, it takes a second for, to open the door. Um. That didn't work. What do you mean that didn't work? Screw you. So... Okay, that's fine. Here's the question. Do we go back out immediately and hope that um, she's becoming an addict. She's just popping pills. Um, do we go back out and hope that he does, he's not like right there so that we can follow and bleed? Because honestly, I think I missed. Or do we wait an hour? It's obviously, waiting an hour is a safer route, but we might lose the bear. So I'm going to get, uh, I'm, I'm dropping stuff off just so that I'm less weight. And then I'm going to get a little bit of wood in case we find a frozen uh, bear. <sighs> Let's just say if the, bear, if the bear's waiting for me, I'm going to be really sad. The bear gets us.
Well, I don't see the bear. I don't see blood. This is kind of shitty. So I got so excited that I didn't really aim the rifle. And I'm pretty sure I missed that second shot. And now it could be anywhere. Could have gone back. Could have gone forward. Could have gone in the woods. Trying to get a little high ground. Snow's getting worse. Um, I thought I just heard roaring, but I think it's just my brain. Yeah, he does leave tracks, but the snow is so bad that this, the tracks are being covered up almost, uh, well, let's just say quickly. Man, this, this weather really screwed us. No, there's no bear traps. You can make rabbit traps, but... So, like I said, the bear... I, I definitely shot him the first time, I and mean, we followed the blood. So he's going to eventually die. The issue is he might die somewhere where we don't find him. I don't even know what this is. I've, I've never been here. Well, not fantastically useful.
Daisy chain rabbit traps together to make a bear trap. That is a solid idea. Uh, what could go wrong? I, I don't even think he'd notice. There he is. We got eyes on him. So, um, Hunt is back on. Now, what we want to do is check to see whether he's still bleeding. If we can do that safely, I'm not sure. Otherwise, we'll just try to watch from the from from some um, safe-ish vantage point. Uh, eventually, our clothes are going to get so wet that we're going to freeze. We're pretty wet right now. You can actually see his tracks from here. What you can't see is his blood. Isn't the bear interesting when you, you shoot the gun and you miss him? He doesn't get scared. Yeah, I mean, Risto, I had the perfect shot earlier, and I missed it. I'm not too confident in my ability to, uh, to headshot him to death. Look what happens when you, hold the, when you hold the gun, right? You've got to line up. It doesn't make sense, but you've got to line up both the front and the uh, rear sights. Just wish we could see if it was bleeding. Uh, because when you hold a gun, the the rear sight stays still because it's touching your shoulder. I mean, the it's the front sight that moves because your hands move. The rear sight sight should stay still. No, there's no more guns, no scopes, just the rifle. It's not, um, it's not really that kind of game. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back down and we'll come at him from the roadside back where we started. This is actually kind of dangerous. You can sprain your leg. Um, in fact, that's probably what's going to happen. Luckily, we weren't too far down that we couldn't get up. Oh, I spoke too soon. So she can't climb this. Down is our only option. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh yeah, like a fucking gymnast. And look who's here to greet us. Stuck on a hillside. So, Mr. Bear is on the hill himself. Um, Exploit Navigator, thank you, thank you. Um, in this playthrough, we've actually had her um, sprain her foot and sprain her wrist climbing a hill, just walking up a hill. She's very delicate. So she, it looks like the bear is sort of stuck, but I, I don't think he's stuck too much. In fact, now he's moving. I wish I was on the other side so that I could jump into that car. We're too far from the huts for me to shoot him here. Well, it looks like I might get a second chance. Doesn't seem like a great candidate to be stranded in the wilderness. Yeah, I don't think she chose to. She's supposed to be a pilot, and her plane crashed. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do this dance again. So she's he's, he's going to walk towards a he or she. I don't know the bear's gender uh, or sex. But the bear is going to walk towards us, maybe? So, yeah, it's pretty crazy because you only get a shot here. Like, you've got to wait in here. That's the only time when it's accurate. Um, and I think I just, I just sort of panicked because it's, a, it's an intense situation. So not only do you have to line it up, but you've got to wait till the here like something like that <sighs> all right resistance to g-force better than yeah 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 when she fell um, if you go to the right place so there's um, something like 10 maps at this point uh, that are very large like this we're on one map you know we spent most of our time on this one little map um, and you can go to sort of up the mountains and do a bunch of climbing and eventually you get to where her plane crashed and you find like the, the tail and stuff like that um, just be pieces of foot I'm so lucky just found the level two sword and not even two minutes later level three sword um what what game are you talking about hunter monster hunter i can lie i only tell the truth oh the zelda randomizer gotcha uh then i think you mean the master sword and the golden sword right Is there a victory condition? There is not a victory condition. There's only a not victory condition. <sighs> we got it. First, I want to see if it's trailing blood. Doesn't look like it. It looks like he wasn't going to die. 57 pounds of meat. Um, all right, two minutes, two hours. That's, that's a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and build a fire. Fire striker, stick. Level one, two, three, four. Yeah, lots of burgers. Yeah, lots of burgers. 150 burgers. 
Yeah, even 50 pounds seems on, light for a bear. I feel like bears are about 800 pounds. I mean, I guess some of it is bone and gut, but... <clears throat> 10 guts? Oh, really? That's crazy. It's going to take a long time to get all the stuff off this carcass. We need... I'm glad I went to, for the fire. Oh, yeah. So that's four hours. It's a shame there's no take all, huh? I need to find a place to rest. All right, that's all the meat. The hide takes 24 minutes. The gut, another hour. Let's do it. That's it. We totally skin this thing. We also can't walk. See what I'm saying about um, about letting it come to us? Where the fuck is the house? I think it's up here. Yeah, I really want a burger too. Oh my god. My um my brain is like scared. Um and I saw, I saw a person walking like a like it looked like a upright figure and I was like holy shit. What have we gotten ourselves into? All right. So the hide takes 12 days to dry. And it kind of doesn't matter because um, we don't have anything to do with it, but we have it. All right, let's... This is as fast as we can walk. Let's put... Honestly, we should put this meat outside. Um, we will cook some of it tomorrow. In the meantime, we've still got... Oh, I didn't even have to cook it tomorrow. We've got plenty of uh, deer. Let's eat up and rest. That bear didn't even touch us. Um... And it's bedtime. We're completely exhausted. Uh, when you're carrying 110 pounds of bear meat or something, she tends to wear herself out. The hungry wolves and rabbits. The rabbits, yeah, they'll they'll eat your uh, bear meat for sure. But um, uh, it's it's like rabbit lore. <clears throat> Can't tell if that's dawn or if that's an aurora. All right. Well, we don't need the, the rifle for now. So let's go ahead and put that away. That's pretty heavy. Um, I know I put a bunch of stuff in here. Let's get... Let's get that. I'm not sure... Um...
Okay, we're under 40 pounds. It's still kind of heavy. I'm not sure why, but uh, that's what it is. Now, this will last about a day. So we could cook some of the bear meat. Um, Once these cure, we'll probably turn half of them into rabbit traps. Well, we've satisfied uh, our necessities for uh, quite a while now. I think 50 pounds is going to last us probably 10 days or um, something like that. How much? Yeah, I mean, I got I got what you were saying. It's a. Uh, It's it's um, completely understandable. Uh, it's a little bit early. I'm just gonna spend a couple of minutes making these Spanish um, antibacterial things. Every time we get attacked by a wolf, they uh, we have to use these, and eventually they run out. Moss doesn't grow back. I'll spend an hour sleeping. Um, yeah, so I think I'll cook some of it. I think I'll cook some of it. Maybe not right now. It actually sounds horrible outside. Uh, let's grab our bow. Let's grab... A couple of arrows. Um, I grabbed this to, to boil it, um, thinking we were going to make fire, but it sounds like the wind is pretty howling. Yeah, I'm, I am too. I am too, Risto. Thinking about a big bear burger. Um, getting really hungry. Well, we've killed a bear. The only thing that's oops, the only thing that's left is a moose. And moose are even scarier than bears because. Um, Moose are super aggressive, whereas uh, the bears actually will leave you alone if you leave them alone. There's only two burger places in town, and it's 3.25 a.m. Yeah, even McDonald's doesn't stay open 24-7 here. Um, that's the worst part of the myth the myth of New York City, the city that never sleeps. McDonald's closes at like 11. And certainly no better place stays open. That bear is already gone. I guess we, we did get rid of all of its stuff. Well, obviously you should make a, make a burger. Do you have hamburger meat? Or do you have any meat that you can grind into a hamburger? Um, the wind's not so bad. So let's, uh, let's start breaking down some pallets. 
I'll start far away. Well, I'm just saying, like, you'd think they would stay open. Like, um, the good burger places close even earlier. Hey. Now that looks nice. Okay, so let's make... Let's make a fire. Get a clean fridge, no meat. Well, looks like you're going to be eating toothpaste again for dinner. Speaking of dinner, what time is it? Um, so yeah, about the moose. The moose are very aggressive. Um, Perfect. And even if they don't kill you, not only do they tear up your clothes and um, um is getting kind of heavy. You know, scratch you up, make you bleed, blah blah blah. They also break your ribs, and when your ribs are broken, um, I think you can you carry like a bunch less, and you hobble, and I don't know, it sucks. And to cure it, you have to like stay in bed for 25 days or something. It's terrible. Probably a little aggressive on the length of this fire, but if we're lucky, it won't it won't blow. Nom nom. Heavy duty food. So each of these 2.2 pound steaks is over a thousand calories. It's going to last a while. Actually, it's going to last longer than the wolf food, right? Because uh, the wolf isn't so calorie dense. Or the deer. Um... So we've killed a bear, we've mastered the bow and the arrow. I think the next thing to do is explore another region. Um, not sure. How we should prepare for that? I mean, other other than just whatever. But the thing is, is we're kind of out of regions that I know anything about, so it's going to be a little more dicey. Um, 
but we've got we've got a lot of good stuff going on for us. Well, the downside you can't travel with me. Time to look for shelter. Well, we, if we just kind of hold up and keep to ourselves, uh, we can survive for, for at least another week. But uh, I think I'm going to maybe spend a couple of days doing what we can prepare for another journey. Um, I know where there is a... Uh, I, actually, I know of three, four other places that you can transit to a new map. One is we go back to the dam and we go through the dam's back door. I'm not sure where that goes. Uh, one is... Up is from is from this map. It's up on the mountain somewhere, and I'm not sure where that goes. I think it goes to the farm. And then the last is also back in Mystery Lake, with the dam, um, and it's through a cave, and you go to Milton, the town of Milton. Actually, I know that place fairly okay. So we could do any of those three. There's something like. Oh, then there's another. The train tracks in Mystery Lake. I think where where it's like the opposite end of the train tracks. I think those go to a new place. I don't know anything about that place. So we have to decide where we want to go and then prepare for it. Um, but we have plenty of time. We've got uh, quite a store of food. So probably other than just like you know, repairing our clothes. Oh, that's an aurora. I thought it was just dawn. Mm. Um, yeah, repairing our clothes. Uh, we, we could search more of this map, but I think we've gotten most of the stuff. I don't... I mean, I, there's actually probably a lot of stuff that I don't know about, but... I don't think it's anything major. Um, yeah. I guess working on our skills. We this this has been a very mild map in terms of weather. Um and there's huts everywhere that we can hang out in if there's a blizzard. Uh, but that's just not true for all the maps. Some of the maps are very dangerous and the weather is really cold. As you go up the mountain, the weather gets colder. And, um, and there's like very few places indoors. 
So, um, anytime we want to spend the night, we should, you know, maybe make a fire if it's cold enough. That kind of stuff. Might have to stay out a lot. So the skills come in, uh, come in handy a lot more. Let's take a little quick stock of our skills. So we're up to four carcass harvesting. I think we just leveled up. 30% reduction time. That's awesome. We can harvest 75 frozen carcass by hand. Uh, 75%, 20% reduction in hydro guts harvesting time. That's that's great. Um, I think we were at four when we started, but maybe not. They seem pretty familiar. Same same benefits as I read them out before. Um, I think that's where we last read those. Now ice fishing we haven't even done. We did just level this up. Accuracy increased by 20%. Critical hit chance increased by 15%. I think critical hits are instant death. Three condition per repair action. So we should make as many arrows as we can. I, that's definitely something that we should do before we go away. Because <clears throat> that we might level up archery, and then it'll be easier to shoot. Um, and honestly, we could probably level up mending just by spending all that cloth we have to level stuff to uh, repair stuff. So that's kind of, that's probably going to be a boring stream, but it's got to be done. Maybe we don't have to spend too long. But I think that's it for tonight. Um, I was hoping to maybe get it to morning, um, and then I'll stop there. Probably the next thing we'll do is we'll haul all this stuff up to the cabin, up to the house. And um, and we'll sort through things and plan our next trip. So um, so yeah, so thanks everybody for hanging out. I hope you had fun. And I hope to see you again. Um, have a good night.